What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, we have a very special video. I know a lot of people out there are trying to quit tobacco and they're trying to get onto something else, but they don't want to give up dipping. So I've been looking for different alternatives. And outside the outlaw dip, I've only found a few that were actually really good. But I found one that piqued my interest. So here we go with another tobacco alternative just for you guys. Whitetail Wintergreen. I actually found out about Whitetail after watching the bonus features for the movie The Dip Run. If you guys haven't seen that, it is a movie based completely about dip. I'll link it down in the description. It stars Outlaw, Darcy from uh, Mud Jugs, Chris Tips One, and Jesse Ryan. But yeah, I watched the bonus features, and I can't remember what his name is, but the military guy uh, was recommending this to Darcy. Also, a few of you guys recommended it to me, so I'm very excited to check it out. So go ahead and grab your dip and pack your lip. Let's get into this review. Starting out with the looks, the can looks freaking sick. Outside of that little bubble right there in the front, it uh, looks really cool. You got that silver logo with the deer antlers and the W. On the back, you got your ingredients, which I'll read out here in a second. Got that white tail smokeless all the way around. Very simple, very similar to some other dips out there. Whitetail is actually manufactured in Jefferson, Wisconsin. Um, it actually has the lot number, what nicotine level you have. It also tells you what date it's best by. And it has organic mint leaf vegetable glycerin, water, propylene glycol, natural and artificial flavors, xylitol, and nicotine. So it's another mint leaf, but we're going with wintergreen, so we're going to get that minty flavor. I do have one more flavor of this, if I like it, I'll review, and that's the apple flavor. They have a bunch of different flavors over there. Whitetail actually did a lot of stuff for the dip run. They actually provided them with a lot of dip, so I thought it'd be really cool to give this a little try, so let's go ahead and uh, crack this some bitch. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. First look. Oh, wow. That actually, it looks like dip. You can very, very much smell that mint leaf. It smells a little bit like toothpaste. I don't know about that. I don't know what it is about these tobacco alternatives, the mint leaves. They just don't pinch very well at all. Here we go, guys. Pinch here. So starting off, it's got a really intense wintergreen burn, but not as bad as that Amarillo that we tried. It does seem to fit a lot better in my lip. It doesn't seem to move around as much. It's actually got a pretty decent flavor. It's not as much like toothpaste as I thought it was going to be, but you can definitely tell it's still mint leaves. Again, it is a lot like snuff, so it is going to have a lot of floaters. But so far, the flavor is actually really nice. It does have a little bit of burn in the lip. That is going to be something to get used to, but the nicotine kick isn't as big as I was wanting it to be, but it does get better over time. But yeah, I'm going to give this one a pass. I'm going to have to say, if you guys are looking for a tobacco alternative that still has a decent nicotine kick, and pretty decent flavor. Go ahead and check these guys out. They're at DeerDip.com. I'll leave all the links in the description below as along with my social media links. Let me know what you guys think about this stuff. I mean, who wouldn't want to be carrying around something that looks like that, though? That's freaking awesome. If you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. Let this video get out to more people. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And hit that little notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. I post a new video every Monday and Thursday before noon, if possible. But I still want to know from you guys. I want to give you guys shout-outs where I can. Let me know what you guys think. Should I do, like, a comment question of the day kind of thing? And then pick one of your guys' comments out and feature it in the next video? I'd love to hear from you guys. Please let me know down below. Also, I was thinking, would you guys like it if I opened up a PO? box so you can send me letters and stuff that'd be another cool way i can give you guys a shout out shout out youtube channels do whatever uh recommendations and everything like that but just want to say thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to grab your dip and pack your lip i'll see you in the next video later